So here's how I do, uh, how I load uh, Mamiya RB67 back with uh, 35 millimeter film to do the 35 millimeter sprocket panos. So I have the 3D printed adapter kits for the 35 millimeter cassette. That's for the feed side. And then a 3D printed uh, take up spool that is actually made to accept 35 millimeter film uh, directly. I was actually using a 120 spool and taping a wider leader to it. That was inconvenient. This makes it a lot simpler. So these are readily available for free online to download the 3D printable STL files. So <clears throat> now what I do is, I, so I don't waste a bunch of film, I cut a paper leader uh, from backing paper of a 120 roll of film, cut it to the same width as 35 millimeter film. It's about eight inches long, as you can see here. The, the length is not critical, but six to eight inches seems to work pretty well. And then I'm going to tape that to my film. This is my dummy practice roll here. Just tape that on here, get it nice and lined up. Don't need to waste a whole lot of film. Tape that on, tape it on the other side. So it's taped, okay. And then <clears throat> we just load up our cassette adapters here, like so, and so. Sorry for the airplanes, I'm doing this on the patio so we've got good light. And then this will go on the feed side of the back. Get it in there. Oops, there we go. Okay, film wraps around back. Okay. And we'll put our take up spool in. Hope we can see that. Okay. And then I'm going to load my paper leader. Now you do want to be sure that the leader catches. Um, it's a little slick, so I want to be sure that it actually does catch and pull through a couple of loops like that. So it's got slack taken up. And you'll notice then that I haven't really wasted any film, any significant amount of film. So I can actually go ahead and close this up now, and I've not rolled off a bunch of frames of film. So we'll close that up. Like so. Now the one thing that I <coughs> have found on this, and I didn't know how this worked until I tried it and was confused by it, is that in order to advance the film, you need to have the multi-exposure lever set to cover the red dot. And that will advance your film. Now the frame counter won't move when you do that, but I am actually advancing the film. So you only want to do that once, maybe twice, to get to where you've got a, uh, an unexposed portion of film. Then to shoot with it on the camera, expose the red dot and then you'll be able to shoot. Then to advance the film, you have to cover the red dot, advance, cock the shutter, uncover the red dot, shoot, cover the red dot, advance. If you try to shoot while the red dot is covered, nothing happens. So you have to uncover the red dot, shoot, cover it back up to actually advance the film. I presume that's because there's some sort of a counter mechanism or something that um, registers the full width of 120 or 220 film. So with a narrow film in there, something's not connecting. Anyway, that's how I do it. Hope that works for you.